The moon has fascinated human beings since the dawn of time. As well it might. It truly is one of the most mysterious celestial bodies, not only in our solar system but anywhere in space. With that in mind, then, it is no surprise that as soon as we obtain the capability to travel there. Why, though, have we not returned? After six successful missions to our cosmic neighbor, with several more missions already planned and budgeted for, the missions to the moon suddenly stopped. And what's more, despite advancements in technology and space exploration, no further manned missions have taken place. When Gene Cernan, Jack Schmidt, and Ronald Evans, set foot back on Earth in December 1972 following their successful Apollo 17 mission to the moon, they would become the last humans to have trodden on the lunar surface. We will look at some of the possible reasons, and conspiracies, regarding why we haven't been back to the moon, at least not to the public's knowledge, shortly. And indeed, what was behind the sudden drive to get there. First, however, we should look at some of the bizarre anomalies of our nearest cosmic body. Indeed, these anomalies, if accurate, might indeed suggest an altogether alternative NASA agenda other than mere space exploration. One that would not only change what we know of the moon but our entire reality and those in charge of it. While it is essential for supporting life and seasonal conditions on Earth, something ancient people were seemingly well aware of, it is also an object of bizarre coincidences that just might be anything but. For example, the moon is exactly 400 times smaller than the sun. Its distance from the Earth, in relation to the overall distance to the sun, is exactly 1 slash 400 th. And these figures are not approximate, they are exact. It is these precise measurements that allow for us on Earth to experience total eclipses, something which wouldn't happen if the measurements were out in any way. Just for perspective, the chances of that occurring naturally is literally zillions to one. It is also perhaps worth noting that, to the best of known knowledge, no other moon acts in this way. It isn't just its size either. Even its rotation around the Earth is so exact and without deviation that one side of the moon is permanently hidden from us. What's more, its orbit is perfectly circular as opposed to elliptical as all other known moons. Even the many craters on the moon, which most of us are aware of, are anomalous. More specifically, they are all of a similar depth. This, according to accepted science, shouldn't be the case. In fact, the craters should look completely opposite to how they appear, with greater variation in depth. Some researchers and conspiracy theorists have suggested the reason for this is that the moon is an artificial structure with a metallic casing underneath the rocky surface. We will examine this in a little more detail later, as well as the notion that the moon might even be a hollow object. Mainstream thinking suggests these crater anomalies are due to the high velocities of the striking meteors. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like for part 2. Check out these videos.